Hi, this is Steve on the Guru Brew. Today we're going to be talking about video cards. Every computer has a video card and its job is to take the output from the computer and to put it on a screen or monitor for our viewing. I'm going to show you how to open up a computer and put a new one in. Stay tuned. Okay, we're ready to install the video card in this computer. Just for reference, this is a Dell XPS 410 tower. I put a few video cards on the top of here just so you could get a look at different ones. There's a million different ones, different kinds, different shapes. Um, and the main difference between these is how much memory that they have and also what type of slot that they fit in. Over the years there's been different technologies for different slots and um, also the memory size has changed so you can get some pretty big ones nowadays. The best thing that I would tell you to do is to buy the best that you can afford especially if you're going to be playing games with it um, because cost is definitely proportionate to the quality of the card. So I'm not going to try to tell you what kind of card to buy but uh, more expensive in this case is better. Um, the first step in installing this naturally is to open the computer case. You might have to consult your manual. Some of the computer cases can be quite tricky to open. On this Dell um, it's just a matter of flipping the switch here on the top and it pops the front cover. Set that aside. Now to locate the video card, um, if you look on the back and find out where you plug in your monitor normally, that would be in this area because your, your monitor cable goes into the VGA or into this port. Um, you can follow that card to the other side and it's this card right here. Now these slots in here are for accessories that you might want to put in the future. You could put sound cards, other video cards in here. Uh, tons of things can plug in here, but what we're concerned about right now is replacing this card. Just as a demonstration, um, I was going to put this card in. It's the 8400 GS. It's an okay card. It's a 512 mega RAM card. Uh, it's called a DDR2. And um, the way that you get this particular card out in the Dell XPS 410 tower is through these little plastic pieces they just clip out of the way. Now again you might have to consult your user's manual. They will usually show you how to open up the case and swap parts. Now I should caution you when you're inside this thing you want to keep your hand touched to a bare metal at all times. That will ground you and keep uh, static electricity from zapping some of these parts in here. That's a bad thing. If you have a wrist strap that you can ground yourself to, that's even better. But uh, just for the, this exercise, we can just hold on to the bare metal as we're touching the cards in here, and that'll be just fine. On most of the video cards, I know you can't see it, but there, if you look to the side of your own card, you will see a little plastic tab on the bottom of this card. Now, I'll show you a video card that's not in right now, and you can see that there's a little hook right here and if you can imagine this is sitting up like this so that little plastic tab is stuck in this hook so the object is while you're pulling up on this card to take the plastic part and bend it this way and when I pull it out you'll see what's happening other case designs in different types of computers may have screws here that you'll have to take out up here that don't have this fold away option and you'll just have to simply remove the screw. Like I said, there's so many different configurations. I can't simply go through all of them, but this will give you an idea how to change most of them. So with my hand underneath, I'm holding that clip this way. As I'm grabbing a hold of the card, I'm pulling up evenly and right out. And this is the old card that I just pulled out. There's that little clip there. Maybe you can see that. So what I did is I pushed it this way as I pulled up on the card and that released it from this little hook. This is a pretty nice little card here. 
Um, a lot of times you don't know what it is. The markings on them aren't that good, especially if the video card came with the computer. Uh, they don't always mark these, but you can um, go inside the device manager and look it up further and find out how many um, you know, megs of RAM or whatever are on the card. But um, like I said, we're not gonna get into that right now. I'm just gonna show you how to put a new one in. When you buy a video card, a lot of times they come in a box like this. They'll have software and wires. And the same rings true with uh, taking these video cards out of the plastic. You want to make sure you're grounding yourself, holding on the ground, so you don't zap any of the parts. Now as you can see that this video card has a, a small fan on it and as the video card's power is increased, you will often find fans that cool the processor, whereas this just has a large heat sink and it doesn't require it. So the reverse is true when you're putting the card in. You want to line up the notches. I rock the card back and forth, making sure that I'm level. Applying even pressure, I rock it back and forth and gently until it clicks in, just like that. You don't want to force it. If you're forcing it, you're being too rough with it and you may break it. And then, again, just the reverse order. And then it's just a matter of putting your cover on. Now, on some video cards that even have more power, they may require a separate uh, connection that goes to your power supply that uh, will have a little connector that sticks up here or on the side. Uh, so be aware, if you, if you see a connector like that, you need to find one of these extra wires that are coming off your power supply and plug it into there. And then of course you want to pop your cover back on and you want to uh, put the software in that came with the video card and install all the updates. Also make sure that you go on their website and make sure that there isn't any other following updates. So that includes the uh, video card installation for today. As I have more machines come through the door, I'll do different um, installations of other types of machines. So there you have it. That's a general practice of how you put in a video card. I realize that there's many different case configurations as well as card configurations. So you do need to consult your manual on certain things, but that should get you started. One other thought that you should consider is on some of the higher powered video cards, it might require more wattage from your power supply inside your computer. You want to check your owner's manual and make sure that you have enough power to accommodate the video card. Generally, when a computer comes from the factory, it may have a four or 500 watt power supply, and that should be enough um, if, your, if your video card doesn't require over 70 watts. So just keep that in mind. You don't want to overtax your power supply only to have to replace that in a month. So take care. Thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you next time on Google Pro. Hey guys, this is Steve. Thanks for watching. Hey, don't forget to subscribe if you like this video, and be sure to rate and comment. See ya.